Welcome everyone. Let's delegate to SCAR, S-C-A-R. I'm on the Input Output Hong Kong Twitter, official Twitter, Input Output HK. I will scroll down. You can see this tweet 12 hours ago. The Shelly incentivized testnet is now live, giving ADA holders the opportunity to earn real ADA rewards just from taking part. Delegate to a choice of over 284 stake pools, a click away, the Daedalus Rewards version 1 wallet, available for download today. This will take you to the staking.cardano.org page. You'll be able to scroll down. You can download this Windows version 2.0 ITN1. Let's wait for the download. Going to click yes. We're going to close this, going to the main screen, and we're going to click Daedalus Rewards version one. We're going to maximize the screen, hit continue, scroll down, hit I agree with terms of service, hit continue, click I understand, and wait to connect the network. All right, we're in Daedalus, and now it's time to restore our testnet ADA. So first you have to restore the wallet, and remember, there was a snapshot on November 29th, so the balance that you had in the mainnet Daedalus wallet will be reflected as testnet ADA in the incentivized testnet wallet. So you're going to hit restore. We're going to just test wallet. Wallet recovery phrase, you're going to go ahead and put your wallet recovery phrase, or you can put a rewards wallet if you have the rewards wallet, but we're going to create that later. So let's recover our testnet wallet first. So test wallet. As you can see, my test wallet is pending. It has 99.129098 ADA, and it is complete. So we have restored our testnet ADA. So that's pretty much how to restore the balance wallet. And now the next thing is they're going to be creating a new rewards wallet. So you're going to click that create a new rewards wallet button. You're going to name your rewards wallet. So I'm going to say test net rewards wallet. I'm going to put the password, create rewards wallet, I'm going to confirm. Wait until the continue box goes down to zero. Going to hit continue. Then you're going to click the correct order to verify your phrase. You're going to click all three boxes. I understand, I understand, and I understand. And you're going to give it a little time to sync with the blockchain. As you can see, the percentage synced is up above. Then you're going to hit move testnet ADA in the upper right hand corner. And you're going to verify that the balance wallet is going to the correct rewards wallet. You're going to put your spending password in. So as you can see, it says number of pending transactions and number of transactions. So you, you received your ADA and then now you're sending your ADA. Okay, the balance has now been moved to the testnet rewards wallet. As you can see, the balance in the test wallet is zero and the balance in the testnet rewards wallet is 98.72. So that's what it is. There are some fees associated with moving it from wallet to wallet. So then you go to the delegation center. It's this amalgamation of dots here. You're going to hit delegate your stake. It's a three-step procedure. You're going to hit continue. Of course, this is my testnet rewards wallet. This is what I'm going to be delegating. Hit continue. Then you're going to see, you're going to search for your stake pool. So of course, I'm going to search for SCAR. So S-C-A-R. And as you can see, SCAR is right here. And we have produced four blocks within this, within this epoch. So this epoch just started. So we're going to go ahead and click this, click continue. And as you can see, we're on step three of three. And now we have to put in our password. And we have produced blocks. Within this last epoch, we started producing blocks. So it's been a little bit late, but we've been hustling and trying to figure out any solution to the problems. Jormungandr is still very glitchy, but we are pushing forward. 
your delegation won't click in until the following epoch. So as you can see, your new delegation preferences are now posted on the blockchain and will take effect after the current and next Cardano epochs have completed in around one day, 21 hours and 33 minutes. During this time, your previous delegation preferences are still active. So it is good. We can go ahead and close it and you can undelegate at any time and send to another pool. It's really up to you. So we can go ahead and chick click stake pools to see the, the state of stake pools. We're gonna search for SCAR and as you can see, SCAR is right here and you can get the metrics for this pool. Uh, as you can see, there are still blocks that are being missed. This is not necessarily our pool issue. This is a greater issue that the blockchain has right now. So we're gonna go ahead to rewards as well, as well and you're going to be able to see your testnet rewards wallet once you see that there. So you'll be able to export a CSV file as well. So if you need that information for, I don't know, whatever purposes you want. So this is how you delegate within Daedalus. Let me know what you think. And uh, until the next video, thank you.